our elephants in protected contact and protected contact for us means um, a protective barrier of some sort so what's in front of Osh but also um, very importantly it's all about positive reinforcement training through operating conditioning um, and the way that we get the elephants um, to do behaviors that we ask is we use something called a target pole this is what our target poles look like um, these are just old rake handles and then we use a little bit of paper towel and then um, duct tape to ta tape the ends and make it a little bit of a soft end to it. Um, but you'll see uh, bamboo sticks, um, big, big buoy pieces. Um, you can get pretty fancy with them if you want to, but this is pretty basic. Um, so for positive reinforcement, the way that it works with an elephant is you have to have a way to communicate with them. So for us, um, it's something called a bridge um, or a whistle. So this is actually a dog whistle um, with a little fish aquarium tubing on the end of it. Um, and so it makes this high-pitched noise. So this is, I'm not there yet, this is the communication bridge between me explaining to an elephant, or Osh here, um, what, I, what I wanted him to do and um, me telling him, yes, that's good, cool. keep going, you're doing what I want you to do. So the way you would do that, if I was gonna ask Osh for a foot behavior, so Jeff's gonna be my elephant here, if I was gonna ask Osh for a foot behavior, I first need to teach him that the whistle is telling him yes and that he's gonna get a treat. So I would touch the target pole to his foot and then bridge him. And then I would continue doing that a couple more times. Good boy. And then slowly what I would do is I would lift. Elephants are so intelligent and there are, are good trainers, but the elephants are so smart, they do make it easier on us. Um, so I would lift the target pole just a couple of inches away from the foot. And most likely what's going to happen is the elephant will figure out that Touching the end of this is positive because they're going to get a treat for it. So um, I would just keep lifting up little by little until I got the desired behavior, which is a foot, you know, maybe up to here. So the elephant would lift their foot up. Um, and it's all about the reinforcement, the timing, and then also about. Um, the elephants with target poles move toward the target pole, whereas when you see a bull hook, that's a negative reinforcement. So that's, they're trained to move away from the target, or away from the bull hook. So most of the training that we do here is for medical purposes. Keepers have such a close relationship with elephants that uh, we do blood draws, ultrasound, most stuff because we work with them every single day. So here we check our elephant's feet every single day. We also give them baths when necessary, check their tusks, check their skin. Um, those are kind of the big ones. Feet, skin, tusks are the three main things that are uh, really important for elephant husbandry and care. Um, and then, you know, there's not only medical, but there also is enrichment training. So, like you saw, I was having him catch the target pole and pick up objects for me. Um, that's kind of fun stuff, and there's a ton of fun behaviors. And that's really good because that's psychologically stimulating for them as well. So it's also important to do enrichment training, and training just for fun, not um, something that's medical and can sometimes be a little aversive um, when you're doing something like a blood draw. Although for all of that stuff, they are heavily uh, positively reinforced and treat. So um, they 99% of the time want to participate with us.